G'day, in today's video, I'm gonna run through opening the Aperture 600D. This is my second one, so I just thought it'd be a good opportunity. I don't think I ever made a box opening per se of the first one I got. It comes in a cardboard box that then you obviously pop out the bag. They all come with a kind of zip tie, security tag, so you cut that off and then you're in. So let's have a look. First thing we do, we'll open her up. You got your control box, your lights under there, your hyper reflector, the neatest the cables will ever be rolled up to. I don't think I've ever got them back that good. You got your light stand clamp, uh, you got some stuff up here. Stickers. A uh, bit of how to. Power box. The bracket goes on the back there. And you have the light. Rightio, so this thought I'd show you, popping it on a stand. Um, you've got a couple of options. So what I like to do is pop the bracket on the stand first. Just lock the wheels. I might, just for the video, I'll pop the control box to the front. All right, now with the light, it's got, I'm pretty sure this is a junior pin, or ba oh, sorry, the baby pin. So if your light stand only has that option, then you just use the supplied screw and you, you're good to go um, like that. Or if you've got a beefier stand, take the baby pin out and take the screw off. It's got its own receiver, uh, well, own doobie whacker. So you can just pop that in and obviously just don't lose your, your screw. So we'll leave that in like that. From a grip perspective, I, I think that's meant to be a stronger point of connection. So then we've got uh, you, you potentially take your cap off. You don't want to turn the light on with the cap on because uh, you'll melt the cap. They made this one red so that you would actually see it if it illuminated turning on because uh, as far as I know, yeah, there's no way for them, for these kind of older models to know that the cap's on. Um, your hyper reflector, just same Bowens mount, so it just goes on easy like that. Um, that obviously gets you a, a brighter, more somewhat focused um, zone of light. But if you weren't, if you had a soft box um, to go on, then uh, obviously you wouldn't use your reflector. Um, so I'll just leave that off for the minute. Now the cables, um, they're a nice beefy cable. I'm sure they're insulated to some degree. But I like to pop the the light to the power box first. Just it's just the routine I take. Um, there's actually a little a red marker on top here and a red mark there. So you just get those together. It clips on. 
then that has the same red dot system on this part. Once that clips in, good to go. Then you've got your power cable. So this is from the control box uh, to your generator battery or uh, mains power. Uh, you've got a nice long cord. I'm not sure how long it actually is, but it's very handy. Um, I'll just show you on the bottom here. It goes in, nice and simple, just like that. Okay, so I've gone and turned the power on. Now, there's an on button. It's gonna be super bright. So it'll come on. It's uh, very bright. So that's just 50%. So I'm gonna dial that right down, just so we can somewhat. Let's just do that. We'll have it on down there. So with the control box, you've got physical buttons to get to most of the menu. Uh, and then you've got your dial for percentage. Obviously this is just a daylight balanced light, so you, there's no by color or any color adjustments you can make. So it's uh, just 5600 um, as its color temp. So what I like to do when I get the new ones is open the Citus Link app and add this unit. That way you can update the firmware as well. go do Bluetooth reset on the device, press yes, then I'm going to go add new fixture. It'll come up once it's finished resetting the Bluetooth. Press setup. It's going to go through its setup motion in the app. Say it's connected and then I can see that on my app now and now I have control, so I can turn it off and on through the app, uh, control intensity. Um, so that's super handy. I'll go up like that, bounce it off the roof. Go back to fixtures, and then you press your, your little menu button on the right side, check for firmware. Okay, it needs a firmware update, so it's gonna take three to five minutes. Uh, I'm just gonna turn it down for the sake of it. The firmware's all updated, uh, we're good to go. So it's pretty simple when you get the Aperture 600D, grab it out of the box, pop it up on a stand, we well, don't even have to put it on a stand, but connect it to your Citus Link app, check the firmware, and then you'll uh, be on your way. So this one's just the, the daylight version, it's not the pro version, uh, I don't have the biggies to uh, buy pro versions, but this was about 1500 bucks Australian, uh, which is pretty decent price for 600 bots. Um, so now I've got two of them, so I can kind of have one with the Fresnel ready to go, uh, and one that can go into the um, 150 light box or punch it through some fabrics. So I'm pretty excited to have two to go with also my Godox 600 watt buy. So that gives me that kind of in, if I need the bicolor brightness, I've got that one, the panel light. So I think it's a pretty good combo. And uh, just price wise, like 1500 bucks for such a bright light, the value is too, too great to pass up. Definitely recommend being able to get one because you can just kind of set your levels um, and compete with uh, the sun. I can't afford to buy the, the 1200 watt version, but now they've got two 600 watt versions that have only cost me, each have only cost 1500 bucks. Kind of feel them, you know, $2,000 a head maybe. I hope that helps someone out there. And uh, if you uh, have any questions about using this or um, why, any further details on why I went just the cheaper version, not the pro version, uh, hit me up in the comments and otherwise we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.
Designed for cinematographers, videographers, and photographers alike, the Aperture LS600D Daylight LED Light provides convenient access to intense light output and does not require constant bulb changes like HMI or tungsten lamps. This offers an easy plug-and-play solution for users who need simple and intuitive controls with solid output. Complementing its high intensity, eight built-in lighting effects let you choose between paparazzi, fireworks, lightning, faulty bulb, TV, pulsing, strobe, and explosion. Additionally, the light offers zero 100% brightness control in 1% increments for maximum versatility, making it a perfect light for any demanding lighting situation you may encounter. 